Good day everyone, welcome back to Might and Magic 3 Hells of Terror with Will and F. Last episode we, um, we went in the Tomb of Terror, um, and faced off against the Undead, the Vampire King's Undead Horde, and we got one of the holographic key cards. Now, because we're at, in, uh, at Endgame here, we need to, um, there's just a few things we need to do to finish the game. We need to find all the uh, hollow key cards, and we need to um, find, um, we need to become ultimate adventurers in the Diabolical Maze. So today we're actually going to go into the Diabolical Maze. Um, so first thing I'm going to do here, let's see, um, day 65, which cash do we have? Okay, we have a, almost a million on us. Um, what I'm going to do is dismiss Wisp, and we're going to hire this guy. Fifty thousand gold per day. What a friggin' He's actually really powerful, so he's more than worth the gold if you have it. We have enough to hire him for like three weeks, so no problem. Let's see, he's uh level fifty. He's hundred and thirty-five years old. The human sorcerer, how the heck does he get that? Old, like almost eat, eating his vegetables. So what? The reason why we took him? He has a gold master key. Plus, uh, our I don't really care about our druid anymore. End game, they suck. Um, we might even keep him for the rest of the uh, playthrough. Um, anyway. Get some. Probably don't need these resistances, but I don't know. I always just do it by default. I think um, in the Diabolical Maze you face off against Medusas, which do magic damage, and you face off against Minotaurs, which do physical damage. What I'm going to do is get our standard buffs. Uh, okay. Actually, thinking about it, our druid is more useful. He's more utilitarian than Wolf. First, it's our secondary healer, um, and he also has stone to flesh, which can be very important to have. Um, but we got something stone to flesh last time. I wonder, did we keep that, or did I give it to Craig Hack, or what? City and plate mail. That's the second best uh, armor in the game you can get. I don't think we kept it. Stone to flesh. Oh, maybe we did. Maybe on our... I think we gave it to our... Sorcerer. There we go. Let's check. Okay, yes, yes, okay. So we have two people that can uh, stone to flesh. That's good, because if our cleric gets uh, petrified, then we're in for a bad time. There we go. Some extra spell points. What time of day 
is it? I'm wondering, do we want to... Mm. We can go get the fountain buffs for strength and everything, but... Okay. So the raisin, the raisin, <laughs> the raisin, <laughs> the raven probably has a thousand spell points now. There we go. He has over a thousand. It's nuts. And he has almost as much health as the barbarian. Oh my goodness. What a dude. What a dude. Um. Oh, well, I guess let's just go right there and see what we can what we can do let's save here uh, so to get to the diabolical maze is in the corner of the swamp town island now I'm just gonna double check I think the raven has all spells but if he has power shield that will be excellent he does, and it costs a friggin' arm and a leg. 100 spell points. Let's save here again. Um, actually, we'll get... Levitate would be useful. I don't care about Wizard Eye right now. Pretty much know where I'm going. All the way in the northeast corner. Here we have some jesters. I don't even want to bother with them right now. Oh. No. Oh. Cursed fools. Oh, the diabolical maze is the second most dangerous area in the game, except for the final. Fast and strong too. What a he's everything. The entrance to the dungeon is surrounded by strange little statues of birds and insects and snakes. Enter the dungeon. Yes. Here we are. Oh yeah, we need light. We have levitate. Let's use wizard eye. I'm going to Lloyd's Beacon here. Uh, set. Just in case. Now, the reason why this is called the Diabolical Maze is because as you can see, it's very tricky, there's things everywhere. I'll take the same path I used... Mm. Some of these chests are trapped. I don't remember which ones are trapped. Uh, actually, we want to buff ourselves too. What time is it? 44 p.m. Okay, we have a few hours until we might be able to get through this. Um, get him to power shield, the most critical, give the most powerful power shield, the most critical people, and we'll get you 
to power shield the other two. And we'll get you. We'll need the Lyrix buffs. Maybe we might even buff this guy. He's still comparable in strength to our best fighters. Um, and... Favorite and Clerk's Boost. I don't know which one. Let me, let me look it up in the guide here. here while I look this up. Difficulty, um, cause, because the names are changed in the SNES version. I can I know the the spell names on the DOS version, but the SNES version, like, there's ho in the DOS version there's Holy Bonus, there's um, Blessed, but in here there's no Blessed, there's no Holy Bonus. Um, but I think Holy Bonus is actually called Cleric's Boost. And this is the one that gives plus one damage. Actually going to... Running out. So favored. This gives AC. Just in case. Give that to... so we can get out of here. Great, so pretty much depleted my spell points. Okay, let's see. Actually, the enemies in here, like the Minotaurs and the... the whatchamacallits, um, Medusas give you like a million XP points per kill. There's a Minotaur. Can we kill it? <sighs> Immediately our first fight in here and we're already screwed. Yeah, we're gonna have to go out, we're gonna have to heal ourselves, rebuff ourselves, and come back. than I thought. I figured we could handle these things by now, but I guess we're gonna have to do the whole, uh, whole round of boost thing. That really sucks. It's gonna take like 15 minutes, but we're gonna have to... Wait, we're back here. But we saved that, uh... Oh well. Eh? What do you mean? Why do I have to pay him? 
What? Whatever. It's a game bug or something. If you die, you have to pay your hireling? I don't know. Well. Okay, so let's uh, go do the whole thing. That was terrible. Like, that was just a regular Minotaur. We have to fight a Minotaur King um, later. I mean, Minotaurs are not to be taken lightly, of course, but... It was just nuts. Like, he wiped our party and we only, like, half killed it. Okay, well... Day, is it? It's only 8.35 p.m. Actually, maybe we can do this and get there on time. Probably not. Uh, we should wait till the next day. Uh, anywhere we didn't ex really explore yet? Well, let's go down this way. Did we kill all the sprites? keep forgetting to come here now that we donated at all the temples we can meditate at the insect shrine here which gives us the title of favored by the forces I think we already cleared out this area Let's just head back up and I don't know if you need favored by the forces for endgame don't remember strength, an extra 20 to speed, an extra 20 levels, so that's wizard eye right now. Personality. Some extra intellect for more spell points. And let's completely buff our entire party from head to toe. I'm not taking this lightly. Alrighty, this is gonna take a while here. So, if you want to skip, you can skip ahead, power shield. Maybe um, I'll pause it here for you guys, just because this will take like another 10 minutes probably. You might have seen me teleport there, I just unpaused. 
Um, so what I did, I gave our fighters every buff, and um, the two, uh, the sorcerer and the cleric, they have um, just the protective buffs. I cast all the protection from elements on us. Um, I boosted our HP. Uh, so now we have a bunch of HP. I'm going to get a boost to AC here. I think this is plus 5 or plus 10 to AC. It's going to help us against the Minotaurs. Hopefully it doesn't turn night anytime soon. Anytime. It's evening. So we have massive protections against everything. I'll show you quickly here our thousands of spell points, thousands of HP. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll have a better time. And I'll show you our buffs. Like on our Barbarian here, he's got Power Shield plus 70, so that's 70 reduction to incoming damage. And we each have plus 50 AC now because of the um, favored. So hopefully that will help us resist. It's because Minotaurs, they deal significant damage, but the main thing is that they can instantly kill any character that they hit. They have a chance, like a 10% chance or more, maybe a 33% chance to instantly kill any character. Um, that they hit, that they give damage to. Now, if you resist all the damage, you resist that effect as well. So hopefully, we can resist all that damage. Uh, I really hope so, because you know, if we can't even take on one Minotaur at this time, we're going to have to do some intense training to level up. Um, okay, let's go back. Levitate. Light. I think that's all we need here. Great. So let's just head straight there. Um, actually, if you head straight left here, um, there's quicksand, but we have levitate, but uh, so we avoid the quicksand. Okay. So I think if we go straight up from here, we should be close. Get rid of these things. Pitiful now with the amount of buffs we have. Actually, let's check our levels. Um, yeah, the Raven's at level 70, the rest of us are like level 50. So I think when I went in there, I was about this strong in my last playthrough. So we should be able to deal with those Minotaurs. a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah, these guys. Alrighty. I don't know how many attacks per round this guy has. Barbarian probably is like 15, 13. But he's as good as a f of a fighter as our archer, pretty much. Okay, let's save here. Um, actually, I'll set a Lloyd's Beacon outside and set a Lloyd's Beacon inside. gonna bother with any chests until we clear out the enemies because like we can always go back around and loot the chests but actually I'm gonna set a Lloyd's beacon here with the Raven because I think those chests can instantly kill a character and A 
if we're walking around with dead characters, uh, well, if only one of us can lockpick. Okay. So there's a minotaur there. Let's actually test our metal with, with this guy. Let's see how far we've come. Ah, that's much better. Okay. 108,300 gold. That's odd amount of gold to find. I think they also drop level 3 items, so that could be like an obsidian spear or diamond spear. Um, genius spear. Ugh. Could be useful on the, uh, the druid. It, this gives plus 30 to intellect. Could be useful on the, well, the archer. No, we want him to have a strong weapon rather than a weapon that gives... So we might actually drop that uh, to make room for other stuff. I don't remember which chests are safe, which ones are not. Um, I think there's a Medusa down this way. Remember correctly. No? Oh, there is. Okay, let's jump. We avoid the ranged attack. We could probably one shot it. There we go. Excellent. And these things give a crap ton of experience, so. Um. Yeah. And hopefully. We can stay um, in here. With our buffs. Yeah, I don't want to check any. So what I did last time is I stuck to the left wall and just followed the left wall all the way around. And uh, you can make your way to everything you need by just sticking to the left wall. We found two items there. Interesting. Anything uh, good? Yeah. So the thing is, you get them uh, one on one. Like you don't, you know, I don't think you ever fight like more than one minotaur at a time or one. So it's, you might fight a Minotaur and a Medusa together, I think, a couple times. Ooh, Photon Scarab. Um, so that, if I remember correctly, it does one of two things. It either increases your might by, uh, let's check here, by 47, or it gives you... Oh no, that's power I'm thinking of. Power. So Photon is excellent. That increases your strength by 47. So who do we want to equip that on? Might 106. Is the Barbarian the fastest? Yes, he is. So we'll give him the extra might. Give him the extra damage. Uh, it's just one extra damage per hit. Um, and Dynagon. That's what is that? Uh, I think that's... Protection versus electric at 25. We don't need that. Probably drop them. We need room. But yeah. You can always come get the chests later. Actually, I think I remember where the... Uh, where the... Uh, places we need to go. Power orbs in here. As long as the Medusa doesn't attack from range, then we're fine. Clubber and Dumpy. There's power orbs in here. I mean, we could have got a, a lot more experience, uh, but I forgot about those orbs. Oh, I figured there. Yeah, there. There must have been orbs in here. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Sort of rush. Pike of Storms. Let's discard that. That's uh, Elemental Storm. It's a decent elemental spell, but I'm never going to use it. Ooh. Obsidian Pike. Um, do you have an Obsidian Weapon yet? I think you have Obsidian Hammer. 
Okay, so hammer versus pike, let's see. Mm. Pike is better. So let's give the pike to... Gee, who can use the hammer? A cleric can use the hammer. That would give them... Uh, be able to attack. Well, I guess we don't really need them. We're one-shotting these Minotaurs anyway. Um, but we want to assure that we one-shot them, so we'll give Clobar the better weapon. Pretty sure they can use a pike. The only thing they can't use is edged weapons. Use the obsidian hammer. You can. That would be an upgrade to your diamond cutlass, but what else do you have in your photon box? That increases your might. I guess we'll keep you as you are. Um, you have a shield in your other hand, obsidian. We want you to be have AC. Um, you can't use it, and you can't use it. So. Maybe for... Give the hammer to our druid. If we even use the druid anymore, we'll probably keep the sorcerer rest of the for the rest of the game. Yeah, I'm not gonna go down that path. I wanna go and get what we need to get and get out of here. I don't wanna waste time. Probably have enough time to do everything. Do they even have a range attack, these things? They haven't been attacking us from range. Hope that's an obsidian katana. That would be excellent for our knight. Should be something stupid like a accurate katana or something. Exacto, exactly. Um, so exacto gives you plus 30 to accuracy, but on a weapon, it's kind of useless. Um, Yeah, plus 30 to accuracy. It would be nice to have if it were on like a pendant or a necklace. Yeah, I was hoping for an obsidian. Let's try to remember the way there. Actually. Oh, two minotaurs, that's bad. money so we don't have to worry about uh, paying the, the raven. What do we get? Obsidian scale armor, excellent. Kinetic splint mail, actually, actually, um, that is, kinetic is the highest energy resistance uh, enchantment you can get on. So that will go to the cleric to help them resist the damage from the uh, thingamajiggies uh, endgame, the terminators. I think we'll give the obsidian armor to you. Because obsidian scale armor is the best he can wear. It's emerald. Give that to maybe you. So we're finding like the best weapons and armor in the game in here. Actually, I'm gonna give that to the cleric right away here. There, Make some room. just drop that like the only person that can use it is a knight whatever it's probably like 5,000 gold but I don't care about 5,000 gold 
AC-132, excellent. Um, okay, so what do you have for AC-125? AC-129, so a little bit better. Emerald scale armor is a little bit better than a gold chain mail. Boxes. Many of them are traps. Don't like the look of that. So I don't know how fast the Medusa is. I know the Minotaur. We can get in a couple hits before he strikes. So no items that time. So, let's see if I remember where this place is. Oh, it's just to, their, to our left. It's just past this wall here, but it's a bit harder to get to. Um, because I think those pools teleport you back to the entrance. Um, you can't teleport in here. But the pools are blocking all of the see ways to get in. Well, there's only one way to get in. Last time I got in through here. Let's try going up this way. Really make it difficult. Okay. Okay, we can't go this way either. To come from the other side. How do we get from the other side? It's probably a dead end here. Oh no. Okay, so we resisted all the damage. So we didn't get turned to stone. Okay, so it looks like the items we get, you get one item per enemy. But it doesn't look like we get it each time. It, it scorching belt. I don't care about that. It um, it sort of stacks, and then we get it all at once, like randomly. Yes, shield of implosions. That is very excellent. We need implosion for end game. It's the most effective way to kill the terminators, and it has a chance to insta kill them as well. But they also have a chance of uh, resisting. So, probably go to Salazar. Exacto Orb. Now, that is something interesting because we can hold that in the offhand and it gives us plus 30 accuracy. Um. So that can be used on the knight, but he has the exacto shield, uh, velocity shield, which boosts his speed. I'd rather have speed than uh, um, to hit first, um, because our accuracy is pretty darn good. We can give it to the archer. So it's a decision on the archer, um, might versus accuracy. Mm. I think might. Because his accuracy is pretty good. If we find a good one hand weapon, maybe on the barbarian we can use it. Uh, give it to the. Actually, what do you have in your offhand? Anything? I can give it to you for now. Uh, gold master key. What? Why are you holding that? We'll give you the uh, exact orb. Temporarily. We're gonna keep that in our party. Well, suppose if he's gonna stay in the party, then... Whatever. But yeah, this will make sure that he hits with his... Uh, diamond dagger. There you go, now he's got pretty good accuracy.
accuracy according... He's got fantastic accuracy according to the game. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is a figured it's a dead end. We're probably gonna have to go all the way around or something. Um, go up and around here. Actually, up this way I think is the Minotaur King protecting the Medusa. Huh? Protecting the um, holographic orb, uh, the thing we need. Is that obsidian plate armor? If it is, then that's the best armor in the game. Or it might be something dumb uh, like arcane plate armor. I suppose the only person that would benefit from this would be the paladin. Only the paladin and knight can wear plate armor. Arcane is plus 25 spell points. The knight doesn't cast spells, so it's useless for them. Um, so it's, I think the holographic key card is down one of these paths. It might be here, and I think this is the Minotaur King. No, just a regular Minotaur. Okay, Minotaur King is maybe down the next little dead end there. What time is it? We've got a lot of time for next day. Is this the Minotaur King? No. I know he's in the upper right somewhere. Oh, there's still paths over there too. Is the way to the thing? Wait, I'm lost now. Where are we? Oh no, we're going the other way. Um, let's just kill this thing for experience and loot. What do you got, Dumpy? Anything good? I wouldn't mind some uh, stuff with luck on it. Obsidian shield, excellent. Velocity cami cameo, that's very good. Um, exacto rod, that's like the exacto orb, except it's a rod. It's the exact same, it's an offhand thing. Um, obsidian shield, I think. Velocity cameo. We'll put that on. Was which fighter has the least speed? You. Uh, suppose we'll give it to the archer. Yeah, it'll boost her AC as well. Some speed boosts AC. Um, I mean, if they have any space in their inventory, darn it. What do you have in there? You have a little bit of everything. No scale armor. Old chainmail. We'll give that to, the, to you for now. Actually, I'm gonna just discard this. Obsidian shield. Only person that can use it. Uh, actually, we can remove the velocity shield from him, give him the velocity cameo, and give him the obsidian shield. I'm thinking about it. But I'd rather have, you know, our speed. Then nobody is going to be using the Velocity Shield. So I'd rather spread our stuff around. Actually, we might even give this to the Sorcerer at Endgame. We want him to go before the... 
discriminators get a chance to attack. And the archer too, I guess. They both can cast implosion. Great. So now he's faster than the... He's the second fastest in the party. Excellent. So it's worth just going through here to kill stuff. Oh no, where am I now? Okay, it loops back around. Um, is there something here? Chest. Okay. Where the heck? There's a reason why it's called the Maze from Hell, or in the SNES version, the Diabolical Maze. Right, did I go down here yet? I don't know. around in circles or something. Actually, cognizant of the time, uh, by jumping you can, actually, it's 12.23. Ah, so you can move around without passing time. I, I think that's an exploit. Wait, we were already here. I'm I'm really lost. Uh, okay. So that's a dead end. We can't go that way. Hold on. What's up here? Minotaur. I doubt that's the Minotaur King. down there. A wand. What kind of wand did we get? So wands here, they they can cast spells if they have a spell enchantment, but um, mostly they'll have... Um... Ooh. Leprechaun is plus 50 luck? Plus 30 luck. Which will be useful endgame um, because luck increases our chance of resisting elemental damage. Hence the damage from the terminators. Um, is this a dead end? I think it's a dead end. Okay, I, I am lost. So how did I get to where I am here? I want to go back. Uh, okay, we can't go this way. What about this way? Where does this go? I haven't been there yet. Oh, this might actually be the way we need to go here. It's here. Another dead end. Is this it? been here before. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, yes, I know where we are. This is where I wanted to go. Okay. Oh? Um... Okay, I think we just exploited that. Um, yes, here we are. That's what I thought, this side. Excellent, excellent. The statue of Watermane, fabled ruler of the great sea. Light reads, drink deep from the waters of courage to become an ultimate adventurer. Will the party drink? This is a, you need to become ultimate adventurers. I'm actually going to set a beacon here in case we need Wisp to become an ultimate adventurer. Um, so this is just outside the dungeon, but Raven has one at the entrance, so. Should be okay. Oh, we need to find how to get to the uh, holographic card thing. 
Where is it? Is it up this way? Okay, so this is the other area we saw. Um, what time is it? Okay, it's starting to get into the morning here. I want to get to the Minotaur King before we lose our buffs. Is this him? No. Boots. I wonder if those are obsidian boots. Oh, maybe it's down here. It's two Minotaurs and then a Minotaur King. No? Yeah, I remember. This is a path. Every step you take is a Minotaur or something. Oh dear. Two Medusas? Okay, so we're resisting all the damage. That is very good. Actually, the Minotaurs in... Um, I'm gonna check what we picked up. Minotaurs in Might and Magic 6 and 7 cast um, Finger of Death, which can instantly kill your parties, and it's a ranged attack too. Leather Armor of Resurrection. That could come in handy. Zacto Scimitar. It's useless. Cryo Boots can come in handy if we go in the um, Dragon's Cavern. Because the dragons there... Um, the green dragons cast uh, Frost. Cold Ray at you or something. Uh, frost. Leather Armor of Resurrection. That can cure eradicated characters. I think without incurring the penalty, maybe. What else did I pick up? Anything? Shield explosions, kinetic split mail. I'm just gonna drop this. I don't care about gold at this point. Just keep uh, necessary items. Scorching Wand. I think that's fire. Plus 30 fire. Just discard that. I don't care about it. We need to have space in our battery. Power Orb. Is that the Minotaur King? Please don't kill us. Oh, it is. Oh, piece of cake. Actually. No. Okay. Thought the Minotaur King was protecting a. holographic keycard. Oh no. Don't tell us we're gonna have to rebuff ourselves. Leave, rebuff, come back. If that's the case, then we'll have to have a part two of this uh... Salazar found some stuff. Leprechaun's gauntlets, excellent. That I can do with. Exploit time here. What is time? Pretty sure I remember the holographic keycard is either in the top left of the dungeon or on the, the right side somewhere. Um, hoping it's the right side because that's where I am now. Lady and found robes. What kind of robes did you find, eh? What kind of robes? 
Okay. Shall I give the diamond cloak to you for now? Do you have a cloak? Kinetic. Uh, you don't really need that at the moment. Diamond cloak would serve you better. Kinetic protects against uh, energy attacks. Now we're not getting any energy damage, so... Where is that holographic keycard? I've only ever been in here once before, so... And it's not a, an easy layout to remember. Lydian found spear. What kind of spear? I don't even really care at this point. Uh, if it's something I can drop, then I'll make room. Spear stones, yeah. I don't care about that. Hope I find the key card soon. I wanna I wanna have lunch. Have some uh, leftover pizza from the other night. Great axe. Obsidian great axe? That would be nice. It's better than a pike. Or something stupid like velocity. Pirate great axe? <laughs> I mean, our archer can use that, but. I don't really care about. Pirate is plus 25. Yeah, I can read that. Plus 25 thievery. I don't really need to... There's doors you can pick um, in the last uh, pyramid, but you can just bash them down too. So uh, is this where the key card is? I hope. Oh, it's a dead end. Well, let's take out this dude. This creature. Ring. Rings can be useful. Because um, they can contain like any type of enchantment that boosts stats or like a ring of implosions noxious ring eh. oh, whatever we i don't even think there's anything that gives us poison damage uh, for the rest of the game oh boy we're gonna have to return here Another time, I don't feel like spending another. Maybe we'll get lucky and find the key card. Rather than just dragging through the whole friggin' place. Okay, where have I been? Already been here. Good thing we have a cartographer. The thing might be in some of the chests we're ignoring. What? I don't know. I was just. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking there's a holographic key card, but we're ignoring the. Uh, which ones are trapped and which ones are. Let's try it. Ah! <laughs> oh no, the raven found it. Oh, now we can't trade it. So. Which means he has to stay in our party for endgame. That's dumb. Like, if, if your hirelings get stuff, then. Okay, so we got what we needed from here. We can just rig around now. I was lucky, like, the first chest I check had the key card in it. Well, I kind of figured, uh, I remember it being on the right side of the uh, dungeon. Yeah, maybe we can check a few chests now across and this loops back around to the uh, entrance as well 
Actually, is this the entrance here? No, but we're getting close to the entrance. Um, yeah, we're also getting close to daytime. Well, we have Lloyd's Beacon. If we need, we can just zip zoom out of here really quickly. I'm not worried. It's down there. Check here first. Yeah, so you can see how much a big of a difference, uh, you know, your buffs make. Um, like when we first came in here, we could barely, we couldn't even handle one Minotaur, and then we buffed ourselves, and now the Minotaurs were mopping the floor with the Minotaurs. Great acts of moon rays. Whoa. I like Moonray spell, but it's, it's, it's in practice is not very effective. So Moonray deals uh, um, how do I say it? Uh, I guess I'll just say a little bit of damage to the enemies and heals you a little bit. Like you might, I think it does like 25 damage to all enemies and 50 and then heals you for like 25 or 50 each another orb kind of orb infernos uh... Inferno is like the best fire damage spell, AoE fire damage, but I'm not going to use it. Maybe I'll take my luck on that one. Yeah, let's try our luck. Actually, if there's items in there, we can't get them because our inventory is full. So it makes no sense to... Let's just get out of here then. Check for a few more enemies and then... Oh, there's another guy. Check that later. Yeah, so it's gonna turn the next day, so let's get out of here. Um, you. Uh, let's begin. Oh, pass it. Well, that was quite an adventure. He wiped once. I think that was our second wipe uh, in this playthrough. Mm. Oh, jeez, we have... what? Look at our gold. More gold and gems we know what to do with. It's actually kind of annoying, like... Gain some levels, I'm sure of that. Um, is there anything we can do at night? No. So let's prance around outside until day. Let's give our, all our money to the raven. We don't, we don't need the money. Maybe he's going to start up a charity or something. I don't know. Raven's School of Sorcery for the... Really mentally disabled. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Ben's fineries. Gold millions of gold everywhere. 
Oh, let's get rid of that genius spear. I don't care about that. Obsidian shield, that's a keeper. Exacto shield. Another armor resurrection. Crab boots. Exacto rod. Do we want to keep those? We'll give them to Craig Hack to hold on to. Uh, they're just completely laden. Actually, the rogue gauntlets, we can probably give that to Craig Hack too. I'm not really going to be picking any more locks in this game. Obsidian uh, uh, hammer. Pick shield of implosion. Leprechaun. Let's keep those. Plus three to let me sell those. Plus three to personality. Plus three is nothing at this stage of the game. What do you have? Rod of incinerating. That is the most powerful single target uh, fire spell. Let's get rid of that. Alright. Well, we're gonna need Craig Hack's help here. Dismiss you. But first, take the stuff we want to trade. Don't need this anymore. Okay, everyone's backpack is full. Oh my goodness. See, this is a problem at in game. It just. Need that anymore? Box of undead chant. Okay. Well, things are going good here. Now all we need to do is to. Um, get our other holographic key cards and go to the last pyramid and that's it and probably next episode might be the last um, do a bit of inventory management and then I'll end she wanted to check his awards here ultimate adventurer we gave him that and he's a guild member of all the guilds almost all the skills it's everything except thievery I think yeah anyway well excellent uh, adventure everyone uh, okay so I want to dismiss you Goes all our buffs. Actually, we lost our buffs when it changed the next day, but um, our characters just didn't update uh, until we shifted the uh, characters around. It doesn't do a check on the character portraits every time, uh, like every moment. Probably even just sell that. I don't care about that. Give him. Do we want to give him a lot of stuff? Okay, so this. Craig Hat. Kinetic Splint Mail. Ah. Uh, keep that in our inventory, I guess. Um. 
Yeah, we'll keep that in our inventory. Because just the next episode, it'll save us from having to swap a few things. So Sapphire Buddy, should we just sell that now? Why not? City and Hammer. Um, Archer, I don't think he has anything to trade. Oh yeah, the Royal Gauntlets. Hand that over to you. So you have one open inventory slot. What do you have to trade? Sigin Shield. Exacto Rod. For Kansuan. We'll hold on to that. Cryo Boots. Exacto Shield. Yeah, I'll give that to Craig Hack. Alright, what do you have to trade? One of Stone the Flesh. Yeah, Craig Hack must be getting pretty full too. This can go. Bye bye. She diamond shield. We don't need that anymore. guy thanks Craig hack but you gotta go get back our other sorcerer are... oh yeah he's good now I think the Raven is either e evil or neutral oh, our druid is forever gone now well we're not gonna use them anymore He's evil sorcerer. So we have a good and an evil sorcerer. How interesting. Um, let's go level up. Uh, bank. Let's check the bank. Uh, I'm not prancing around waiting for the bank to open. Fermage on lunch. Yo quiero mi almuerzo. AC is useless uh, in the, I guess, the Terminators. That's why you want uh, anything luck or energy resistance. If you find any weapons that actually do energy damage too, that can be useful. Alright. 30. 30. 51. Boost. It's getting expensive. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what the heck? Wait. Did we find an experience bug that gives us inf like infinite experience or what? Try to get everyone to level 50. Mainly um, those that can cast implosion because we want to cast implosion as many times as we can. We might run out of money here, wow. Well, as you can see, defeating the Minotaurs and that, they give like millions of experience points. 
Salazar, we want our healer to be as proficient as possible too, so let's... Also, by raising the Raven's It also raises his cost per day, which uh, sucks. Let's get them to level 40 each at least before our money runs out. Like, holy heck. How much experience did we get? friend game now okay there we go yeah that's about as high as I'm gonna put this guy it's getting prohibitively expensive well, let's check now we should be in the thousands of everything here yeah. we're nearly all at a thousand HP thousand SP wait why does Merlidian have as much spell points as the Raven even though the Raven is like a lot higher level than uh, I think I know why because uh, our he has a lot more intellect than the Raven that's why Explosion, I think, is a hundred SP to cast. Let's check. It's not a leveled spell, thankfully. Yeah, it's a hundred. So we can cast it twelve times, fourteen times, uh, fourteen, eighteen times. And we have a shield that can cast at 10, so we can cast it about 28 times before we need to rest. And you don't really want to rest because when you rest, you lose. Uh, we can get um, energy resistance, uh, which will help us as a temporary buff. But that'll be next time. But yeah, we are one or two episodes away from finishing this playthrough. Um, what an experience this game is. Uh, I mean, I sort of rushed through it and I knew what I was doing, but for any person that wants to play this game for the first time, um, you know, you're gonna take twice as much time as I did to complete this because it's gonna be confusing as heck and you need to figure out the riddles and like I knew where I was, what I was doing, where I was going, and I knew the riddles to the puzzles and the everything, so went easy for me but yeah sort of rushed rushed through it um, actually I saw somebody that uh, completed this game in like I don't know six minutes or something it's like a world record um, without using cheats not using cheats um, yeah I don't think we need to do the... There's Castle Greywin and Castle Blackwin. Usually they give you the passcodes, but we found them in the spaceship. So we know the um, initialization sequence. So we don't even have to save them. Um, in your playthrough, if you want to go through, you can and try that. And there's a lot of uh, stuff to be gained from doing the castles, loot and stuff. And the rumor has it that there's mysterious uh, thrones that if you sit on on a particular day of the year, um, you can get some good stuff. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Um, I'll give you the tip of the day. 
tip of the day um don't worry so much about stuff um it's good to be sort of i mean worry in a worrying can give you like positive stress but if you're worrying so much that you're getting negative stress don't um you know things come to pass and um, you know a phrase i like to tell myself a lot is it is what it is that life is um we worry so much about things we shouldn't worry about uh like um, the epicureans uh used to say that It was the Stoics. It's either the Epicure Epicureans or the Stoics. I'm not remembering 100%, but they said they said that we worry. I think it's the Stoics. Um, they say we worry so much about stuff like like the gods and stuff, and like what's going to happen in the future. But we shouldn't worry. Um, about stuff that hasn't happened yet because we can't predict the future um, like we might say like oh uh, I'm gonna fail the test for sure because you know I didn't study or but you don't you don't know that you know maybe um, the grade can be curved like they say or it could be adjusted um, if everybody did bad on it you know you might actually get a decent grade or um, you know, you might be worried that. I'll try to get a really good example here. I don't know. Well, anyway, we we just worry about things that, like, we sort of try to causally predict the future and saying like, oh, this is gonna happen, but. You know, worry about it when the time comes. You, you can't predict the future. You don't know what's going to happen. And basically, when you're worrying, you're sort of predicting a future, a negative future for yourself. Now, um, since we can't predict the future, you, you deal with the things that you can deal with when they arise. And if you can't deal with the things, let them be. That's sort of like the stoic frame of the basic stoic philosophy. Um, you know, deal with what you can deal with and the things you can't deal with, you know. Just tell yourself, that's, that's life, you know. Sometimes we can, um, a quote I really like from, uh, it's a fictional quote from a fictional character, but Jean-Luc Picard in Star Wars, um, Star Trek, Star Trek, he says, um, you know, uh, this isn't, this is a paraphrase, I, I don't remember the quote directly, actually, I can, I can look it up here, um, Here we go. Sometimes you can do everything right and still lose. That's not weakness, that's life. Uh, Jean-Luc Picard says that. Um, like you can set up within everything within your power to do and within your situation, you can set it up perfectly to have everything point towards the positive and the winning outcome. but. You know, anything can happen in life, unforeseen circumstances, um, maybe there was a contingent, contingent thing out of your power to control that just, um, like, oh, I'm gonna go to university, you know, and have my first university experience, and, you know, you set your life up to, and then, next thing you know, it's like, oh, COVID, you know, everyone's staying home, you don't really get your university experience. At least not the social and in-person aspects. Like, stuff like that, it's, it's like... The world is so contingent and probabilistic that, you know, even like, um, like chaos theory states that even some minute changes in starting conditions of something downwind will have some very big changes. It's also sort of like the foundation of what we call the butterfly effect. Uh, it's also known as a butterfly effect, I guess. Um, but, um, like, if you're playing Plinko, if you know what Plinko is, where you put the slot in and it falls down, and, um, putting it, like, 
0.1 millimeter to the left from where you started can be have a radically different outcome than um, or even like a, gu a gust of wind blows um, and it, it pushes the plinko puck um, you know or like the ground shakes a little bit because you know uh, I don't know like a level one earthquake or something and it shakes or or someone walks walks strongly and it shakes the ground it can push the puck like there's so many contingent little factors that can affect outcomes in, in, in causal chains that anyway I'm getting too deep into philosophy again here but yeah my tip of the day is just don't worry so much about things um, deal what you can deal with and um, we tend to be worry warts and but you know, live live in the now and sort of experience things instead of living in your head and trying to predict all sorts of outcomes and schemes um, and though that way you're sort of living outside of reality um, in your own head and you're missing out on so much in life anyway that that'll be it for my discussion on the tip of the day but yeah Guess we'll, we'll wrap up here. It's been this episode of uh, Might and Magic Three Owls of Terra, and uh, join us for the next and potentially last episode uh, next time. <laughs>